Hello ladies and gentlemen, today a Risk of Rain 2 video. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to unlock artifacts, and also how to defeat the Artifact Reliquary boss. So first things first, you got to make your way to Stage 5 Sky Meadow, and then you take your Artifact code and you type it in here at the Compound Generator. I am using the Artifact of Honor today, so one directly next to the generator. Once you finish typing in your code, whatever it is you want, you come to this laptop here and you press Submit Formula. Once you've pressed Submit Formula, all you gotta do is walk up to the portal that it generates and enter it. A couple things to mention. If you're playing Captain, his passive legendary that he spawns with does not work in this dimension. Pretty sure the description of said item mentions that, but it does not work in this dimension. Two, the artifact effect will be active during the entirety of this fight. So mine is the artifact of honor, so every single enemy spawns as an elite. So first thing you do once you get in here is you go in and you pick up your first artifact key. You take the artifact key, you walk up to the artifact reliquary, you press E. And what will happen is you'll get blown away and you will begin fighting waves of enemies. So just fight these enemies until they eventually drop another key. I am also going to mention really quick that you don't want to get hit by all those red orbs flying out. They will do damage. Um, it's not a ton, but just try and avoid it so you don't die, obviously. That green element over there is just from the artifact of command. I'm just not picking it up until I get the keys so I can show you what it looks like in this instance. When you're playing, the enemies will only drop keys if you don't have any artifacts already activated. So I thought I'd just mention that quick. So while we're waiting for me to get more keys here, I am going to mention that having more than one stack of key does not do more damage to the enemy. No matter how many stacks of key are in your inventory, you will always do 25,000 damage to the artifact royal aquarium when activated. So, I would recommend that as soon as you pick up the key, you go and activate it, because the stage also resets every time you activate the artifact reliquary. So you lose every key in your inventory, you do 25,000 damage, and the whole stage resets of keys. By that, I of course mean if there is a key laying anywhere on the stage, it will be deleted and it will you will have to spawn anew by killing another enemy and having it drop another key. So starting now, I am just going to let this video play out, and I will cut in any time I'm about to get a key or I have a little tidbit of information about what's happening on screen. So as you'll see here in just a second, the key has spawned for me, it is this yellow item. Since I have the artifact of command active, I have to choose the key. When you're playing, the enemy will just drop the key. So with the key, you walk over to the artifact reliquary, you activate it, you'll get pushed away. I didn't get pushed away for some reason there, I was like glitched into the artifact or something, but it always pushes you back. to pick up my second to last key right here. I'm gonna go do the same process. I'm gonna pick up the key. I'm gonna go activate the artifact reliquary. It's gonna knock me back. And then I'm gonna do it one more time. And then I will show you the finishing procedure for the rest of the video.
also here in just a second. Some Celestines will spawn in. I'm gonna take him out, no problem. The second one's gonna drop the key. I'm gonna take the key. I'm gonna walk over to the Artifact Reliquary. I'm gonna activate it. And this time, it's gonna be just a little bit different. I'll show you what I mean. falls apart. What we gotta do is you walk back into the middle and you pick up the artifact, which is this thing in the middle. This time it's the Trial of Honor. Um, it'll be named after whatever artifact you're going for. Alright, so once you've picked up that artifact from the center, all you gotta do is exit the giant red portal that spawned up on that uh, platform right there, the one you can see on screen. I will quickly mention the artifacts that I have currently active. I have the Artifact of Command, which is the one that's letting me choose all these items. And then I have the Artifact of Sacrifice, which is the one that lets enemies drop items, which is what spawns so many items here in this stage. And then thirdly, I have the Artifact of Swarms, which doubles the spawn of enemies and halves their health. So, that's that. Um, we're gonna go through the portal, and that's it. I've unlocked the whole artifact because I defeated the boss and I've left the portal. I picked up the artifact, so good to go. Um, here at the end of this video, I am gonna put in a little death montage because I did die a lot in the making of this video. I recorded three and a half hours of footage just to make this, however long this clip is going to be, three and a half hours, because I died, I think, eight times. There's going to be a little death reel. It's kind of funny, because I was getting pissed off, and you can hear it. It's, it's pretty funny. But this run went on for me, and I ended up defeating Mithrix, actually. And then, since I'm running on uh, Monsoon, I did unlock Bandit's skin. Real quick spoiler alert here. This is the end game boss coming up. I'm going to have a time link in the description or the comments, maybe both, leading you to my death reel at the end of this video so you do not have to watch me fight Mithrix if you do not want to see it. So, spoiler alert, you've been warned. Here goes. All right, so here is that Mithrix fight. I did end up winning, like I said. Mostly because I had 20 stacks of Royal Capacitor because you get to keep it even after losing your fuel cells So that's how I won, but just here's a little playthrough of it. It's pretty cool I did get a death mark proc because I uh, ended up getting enough debuffs, which I was pretty happy about uh, It goes by pretty quick it's just because I do so much damage because I have the artifact of command and sacrifice So I got to choose so many items But made it pretty dope so here you can see I've taken out the second one. And since you're still here watching this, it'd be really cool if you liked this video and maybe even subscribe to my channel, ring the bell sort of thing. Because, I mean, if you're still watching at this point, I already did the tutorial you came here for. Maybe you just want to see the death reel, which will be right after this. But, super cool if you liked and subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. If not, I mean, what am I going to do? absolutely nothing but if you really want dislike the video and leave a comment telling me you disliked it because I told you to like it or because I told you to dislike it interesting weird how that conundrum there works but nonetheless if you dislike it leave a comment and tell me you did because you hate me super funny So right here, we're about to enter the final stage of the boss fight. I'm sure you know how it goes. Mithrix here steals all of your items, and you gotta just kill him again. So, like I said, I just used my Royal Capacitor stacks, because you keep them even after he steals your fuel cells. I activated it, looked like three times there, I took them all out. And then I made my way to the uh, little dropship to get the hell out of here. 
was pretty simple. Didn't have to do anything because I had all my items back, so I wasn't even worried about it. Here it goes. That's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. This was a safety rock, and now it's not. So now you see how bad I am at this game. So Oh, 